What is going on? Coming at you from REC. My name is Riley Kent. Today we got something a little bit different, a little bit special to us. So we have teamed up with a company called Cerberus and we have their scales. We have a few different models from the Shaman to the Para 3, Para 2, and even some for the Smock with a whole bunch of different options. For the Para 2, we have the regular, we have the skinny, and then we have the honeycomb skinny, the radar skinny, and the fish scale skinny. And then in those three combinations, again, we have them in the regular size. So the regular honeycomb, regular radar, and regular fish scale. And then as for the pair three, we have the pair three skinny, the pair three regular, and the pair three worker honeycomb, radar, and fish scale, and then also the regular worker. And then for the shaman, we have the skinny and the worker, and then for each of the skinny and the worker, we have the radar, fish scale, and honeycomb. For the smock, we have the regular honeycomb, fish scale, and radar. You can't really do a skinny with the smock, so it's just those three or four combinations. In today's video, I'm gonna give some quick tips and a quick tutorial on how to install these scales on your knife. I'm gonna be installing them on my PM2. So the first step when taking your knife apart is you're gonna to wanna to start with the pocket clip. On the Spyderco's pocket clip is gonna be a T6. Stick it in there and just get those guys out. Once that guy is removed, switch out your T6 for a T8. And then you're gonna take the two liner screws out. And these you will have to unscrew from both sides. Make sure you keep these guys in place and don't lose them. And then get the ones up here near the pivot. After you've got those four guys out, switch your T8 out for a T10. Then you'll go ahead and take that pivot screw off. After you've removed those, your scales should pop off pretty easily. Make sure you don't lose any parts. You're gonna to wanna to keep these back spacers in line. Maybe set them next to the screws that they go with. And then also make sure you grab the two bronze washers. Keep those with the knife. Before pulling the lanyard loop out, you can go ahead and pop the scales out. By doing that, go where the pressure lock is and run your finger back and have it pop out but try not to bend where the pressure lock is. And then twisting that will release some of the pressure on this guy, and then you can go ahead and set that down. Now that you have this liner out, go ahead and set it aside. And you can also set your scale aside. And now you just have to pop this liner out. I found that the easiest way to do that was to find something like another knife or something small to pry under it real quick and that guy will just slide right out. As you can see, I have quite a bit of oil on here. Not a big deal, we'll just wipe it off before we set it in the new scales. So we can set this liner aside. Now it's time to actually assemble the new scales. So over here on this side, we have four different options. And these are not all the options, there's actually eight different options. So these are just the regular PM2 scale, the honeycomb, the radar, and the fish scale. Now there's all of these same variations but in the skinny model. I'm gonna go ahead and do the fish scale one because that one's my favorite. So just a little quick unboxing when cracking these guys open, it'll come with a cool business card. Chris Ordis is the owner and founder. And then inside here, in the little baggie, you'll have your two micarta scales. All of our scales are gonna be in that OD green, but it's actually a super cool color. Almost has that goldish look. But once your oils from your hand and water gets on it, the colors will start to change and become just a little bit darker. So setting these guys down, putting the box aside. The first step is to put these liners back in. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe them off though, just to get any of the dirt or oils off of them before putting them into the new scales. So find the scale that has the pressure lock in it. How you'll identify that is that it'll have this groove cut out so that the lock can go in. Then you'll grab the liner that has the pressure lock in it and it'll just go ahead and set it in like that. Next, we'll put the other guy in and just set it in. So the first step when reassembling everything is I like to put this little lanyard loop back. Go ahead and stick it in the rear part of the knife. After you get that guy into the rear, what I like to do is put one of the spacers in and then put one screw to hold it there, like this. You'll grab your T8 to screw it in. Don't tighten it all the way, just get it there enough to hold it in place. Then you'll go ahead and do the other one. 
The next step after that is grab one of your washers, make sure that it's all wiped off from any debris or oils, and go ahead and set it down right near the pivot. Then you'll grab the pivot and set it in the hole, and you'll see that it does go a certain way. There's a flat spot on the pivot, and that flat spot will go on the non-lock sided half and it'll slide, slide into the half spot on the scale. Next, after that, I like to grab some oil and put just a little bit on the knife, a little ring around where the washer would go, and then you'll put the knife through the pivot onto the scale, and then do another ring of oil. Then after that, you'll slide the second washer on. Once that washer is on, you can go ahead and get ready to put your second half on, your lock side. Just get everything lined up. I'm gonna do the pivot first. So set the pivot, screw in. Grab your T10 and screw it in, but do not tighten it. Then swap that out for your T8. So you can go ahead and put these guys in, the liner screws. Again, don't tighten, just get them in there. And then before you get too far, make sure you throw that second pivot screw in. Don't snug it, just get it loosely there. At this point, you can begin to tighten up your liner screws. And then once you get everything snugged down, sometimes you'll need two Torx pieces to do one on each side if these screws were slipping because it is going through into the same place. Once you have these two screws tightened down, you can go ahead and adjust the pivot. So you don't want it to wobble when it's out but you don't want it to be too stiff. So you'll grab your T10, get into the pivot, and gently snug both sides down. Try to get them as even as possible, and then see how it flips. This one's not too bad, so then check the blade play. There's quite a bit of blade play in it. Go ahead and tighten them down just a little bit more on each side. Check the blade play. Still quite a bit there. We'll tighten it a little bit more. Now the knife is pretty snug. Still flips really good. And then that's pretty much about it. So you got these two snug down and then the pivot screw you have to play with. Try to get them as even as possible to the point where there's no blade play and it still shuts nice and smooth. You can always add just a little bit of oil into there to add to it, work that in a little bit. The last and final step is putting the pocket clip back on. But these scales do only offer the tip up option, which is not a big deal for me unless you're a tip down kind of guy but I like them tip up. Sometimes I feel like the pocket clip is the hardest thing to get back in just because of how small these screws are and how finicky they can be. Make sure you don't over tighten these screws because they can have a chance of stripping out. Once you have your pocket clip in, your knife is officially done. Got these scales on them. They look super, super sick. The texturing is awesome. Makes them so grippy. Having the micarta mixed with the fish scale milled out on it so grippy it doesn't feel like this knife is going to go anywhere on you there is also the skinny version of the regular fish scale honeycomb and radar i'm not a big fan of the skinny i like having that little swoop there the main difference is they take away they take away this belly right here and it's more of a consistent curve and then they do offer that for the shamans as well Another option that they offer is what they call the worker's edition. So it'll have this angle on the back, almost gives it a strider look, which is super neat. It gets a lot fatter in the back, leaving you with a lot of purchase on the handles. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up. The biggest thing to keep in mind is don't tighten all the screws down at once. Do them little by little to get all of them tight at the end. So many different options of these guys. Definitely recommend checking them out. I'll leave the link in the bio. I'll catch you guys next time, later.